Hey guys, it's Fuzzy here, and in today's video, I'll be making Dog Day from Poppy Playtime. For this figure, I plan to have him be similar to uh, the cat map I made in the last video, so his face should be similar size, the proportions should be similar. I think I'll do a better job since now I have the right amount of pipe cleaners for it. I plan to uh, upgrade a little more and I plan to give him different joints. Um, instead of being stiff, I think I'm gonna go for like a doll. It won't be as stiff as this. It'll kind of like wobble around and stuff. The, uh, the arms. Hopefully my second time around it'll be a little easier and I will get it uh, a little better. And uh, yeah, on to the video now. So far, so easy. His face is pretty much just like Catnap, the last figure I did. It's pretty much just his face, different pattern, different ears, and uh, no eyes. And this time to make it a little easier, I'm going to not attach the mouth. I'm kind of going to create a little pocket in there, so I kind of just insert it in, and then it just stays there. It'll just make it look cleaner. And I also wrap the eye with orange, because that's going to be where the spot is going to go. So I had to uh, separate the colors here, and yeah. Also, you guys like the new background? I changed it into this fluffy, fluffy background. And uh, I also try to fix the lighting so hopefully you guys can see a little better. It's not as dark as before. Um, yeah, just let me know if you like the new the new look. <laughs> Alright, so here I have filled in the mouthpiece here, the yellow mouth lining, and then I added some uh, inner support so that when I stuff the eyeballs, the little ball of pipe cleaners won't fall out, and then I could put uh, a black plate over the eyes. And then I'm just going to fill in the rest of this, this cool little grid that I made just so I can uh, have the head be strong and also easier to fill in. And then I attach the neck and then put in the mouth finally. And that's it, yeah. Now on to uh, filling it in.
that we have the head here. We can start working on the neck. All I have to do is pull this out here and then in the back over here I'm going to stick the the stems of the neck into the to the back of the head and then just pull down the little tabs that poke through and then I just seal this up hopefully it's a uh, more sturdy catnap was kind of like wobbly but uh, hopefully I can secure that better Here we have the outline of the body, and this is only half the body. I'm thinking of making the rest more uh, flexible pipe cleaner thing. I'll show you in a bit, but it takes a little longer, but it'll like kind of move like a fabric almost. So I'm just going to do the upper half first, and then the rest afterwards. <laughs>
All right, so here I have finished the the ends of his uh, torso here. I thought I'd make the blood just bright red because the rest of him is kind of bright. He doesn't look very dirty like in the game. So I thought I'd just make everything kind of bright to match. He looks more like the cartoon version rather than the uh, one you see in the game. But uh, I kind of like that. It's like the uh, just a different version of him. So the, uh, the bright red blood definitely matches all the other colors. And also you can move this a little bit kind of like uh, felt or like uh, plush. So yeah, now onto the uh, arms. So here is the hand halfway done. And what I've done here is that I've made this little chain thing, three sections of pipe cleaner here, and then I put uh, four little points at the top. And those four little points, I connected four more chains with three sections to make like a little layering. So there should be five total in each finger. And then I just wrap it. Actually, before I wrap it, um, I put one pipe cleaner in here going through the hand and connect here so it doesn't like wobble around in the hand at the end should look like this. Later I do add a little more bulk to the fingers to match the uh, shape of his fingers better. Then I just fill this in. And here is the loop at the bottom to where I connect it to the arm. Yeah, let's go finish the uh, other hand. Alright, so what I did here was I wrapped the chain around each of the joints like this so they can kind of bend seamlessly. As you can see, there are still a little bit of cracks you can see, but um, for the most part it covers the joint up and it gives it bendability in um, a seamless kind of way. It's also really spiky. You can poke yourself easily on this. I need to work on that. Um, it actually turned out how I wanted it to. You have to occasionally move these into place, but kind of seamless joint. And here's the wrist. A little less seamless, but I like the way it, uh, it bends. And the shoulders are a little less um, seamless as well because of that. I don't know how to fix that. And all of that bulk into the, uh, the armpit, kind of, I can't really set it down too much either, so. But he is now all finished. Here 
is all done. This project was honestly um, a lot more funner than catnap, probably because I didn't run out of pipe cleaners this time, but I actually got to do the things that I wanted to do for catnap on um, dog day, like these joints right here, the, the seamless joints. Since I almost ran out of pipe cleaners for catnap, I didn't even think of doing this anymore. I was just kind of like, I just wanted to finish it at that point. But it was these seamless joints where I make the chains and I wrap them around each joint to make it kind of seamless. So yeah, I got to do it on uh, dog day, which I'm pretty happy with. Um, I do like the cartoony kind of look it has. All the colors are very bright instead of dull like in the game. The normal colors, I want to make them a similar size. So here they both are. I think my favorite part are the hands because I don't get to make hands that often. And uh, he's very proportional too. I think I got the proportions pretty good. He is uh, strong, the head stands up, and um, I made this part more cloth kind of feeling. And the belt was fun to make, it looks like a little, little real belt. I think I honestly like this one a lot better than Katna, even though Katna looks pretty uh, cool. Um, I think I did a way better job on Dog Day. But you guys can let me know down in the comments if you like uh, Dog Day or Catnet better. Yeah, let me know in the comments uh, which one I made better though. And also let me know uh, what character you would like to see next. I know a lot of you are asking for Springtrap, but uh, you know, I'm really uh, scared to make him. He seems really hard to do. But maybe I have an idea actually for that. Let me know how I did. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video hopefully. See you guys later.